This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Thor News presents. The Solar Fleet looks at Eisen. We are taking a look at Comet C-2012 S1 Eisen. And for the record, Enki is crashing the party too, pal. Yeah, it's true. We got Eisen and a bunch of cameras. She looks giant. Phil Plate assures us that Eisen is only 1.2 miles wide. And he has staked his reputation on it. That makes me very excited. I'm going to go ahead and guess Eisen's nucleus is way bigger than 1.2 miles. And I'm going to stake my guess, not reputation. Because I have no reputation. I'm just a pseudo-astronomer on the YouTube. None of us have reputations. And I'm perfectly fine with that. But I'm going to say Eisen will not break up. And will make it. The dirty snowball will fly through the sun and come back out the other side. You know what I'm saying? Once again, pointing out how way oversimplified and unimaginative the term dirty snowball is. So you can check out all these cameras yourself. This footage was posted on Space Weather. I don't know where they got it from. And they happened to take out old Deborah on, which is weird. Uh, we got the stereo HI cameras. We got the stereo high cameras. We got the Sechi high cameras. And we're just moving and grooving. I have a very important, very complex icing video I'm going to make today. So I thought I'd wake up after a good night's sleep and put out the data that pretty much everybody else is putting it out. So, uh, not claiming to be cutting edge or original with this. I woke up, checked my subscriptions, and everybody put up the HI footage. But since I started working on it last night, I'm going to go ahead and finish. I got this footage off of spaceweather.com. The dark clouds of stuff you see coming from the right are density enhancements in the solar wind. And these are what are causing all the ripples you see in Comet Enki's tail. Explains our buddy, Carl Batans, of NASA's Comet Ice and Observing Campaign. I can pretty much promise you that we're going to see Ison's tail doing that in a couple of days' time on a much larger scale. Hell yeah! Batams points out another exciting development. Comet Enki and Comet Ison are converging for a photogenic close encounter. No, they're not going to hit each other. In reality, they are millions of miles apart. But as seen from Stereo A spacecraft, they're going to get very close. We are probably a couple of days away from seeing two comets almost side by side in that camera with long tails flowing between them in the solar wind. To say that such an image will be unprecedented is rather an understatement. And I think we can all agree they look like giant sperms flying to an egg. Uh, Carl didn't say that I did, but it's true. Look at them, man. They look like giant sperms flying to an egg. And the, and, the, and the sun would be the egg. And I guess the earth and the other plants would be the cock blockers. Cock blockers. Cock blockers. All right. Cock blockers. Cock blockers. All right. Wait, wait, wait. That, that analogy might not be a good one. And spaceweather.com does remind us that we are in the final countdown clock at T minus seven days to pat a helion. Comma Eisen is traveling fast, mofos. And that just means mahogany foggers. Mahogany foggers. All right, if you've been paying attention this last week or so, there have been three types of scientists. One, the guy who says, I have no idea what is going on. We must study it more. Two, you got the science who's so arrogant. He's like, oh, everything's just fine. Oh, everything's just normal. This is normal, dirty snowball. Three, the scientist who says, I don't have time to talk about ISA. We have to promote MAVEN. Another awesome satellite we're sending out to Mars so we can send you guys back pictures of dirt. How many scientists do you even remember predicting? Oh yeah, there are going to be wings in a bow shock. The only people I even knew who predicted wings were conspiracy theorists, people. I never heard a single scientist astronomer say, yeah, it's probably going to have wings. I heard a lot of conspiracy people say that. You know, like, it's so weird. Anywho, we're just going to be taking a look at these awesome, amazing cameras like wow look at this it's amazing how far technology has come look at these crystal clear photographs man it's like we're we're in the future if the future was 1964 hold on i think i got a helicopter inbound anyway and what the hell is that behind Eisen? that thing looks big i think it's moving fast man this situation is so crazy i just went to walmart and asked for crazy pills and the woman looked at me like I was crazy. And I was sad. And I said, the world is full of crazy people. You're the crazy one 
for not having crazy pills. I'm so old, I remember when Blue Light Special was a joke. About a couple minutes ago, I, I got all randy. I don't even know what it means to be all randy. Watch out, randy. See, nothing. And if you're mad, you didn't have to watch. But I'd like to thank Down Thumbs Donnie for always being there in the first 10 minutes of putting up my videos. It is good to know you care so much, Down Thumbs Donnie, and you spend so much of your life dedicated to following mine. That makes me flattered, Donnie. Down Thumbs. Or Donna Down Thumbs. Heck, I don't know. All you internet people, unless I've seen your photographs and we've discussed, you're pretty genderless to me. Or genitalist to me. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. Crap! Now I got more people down thumbing me because I'm not being very serious in this one. And I'm not spitting out of scientific data. But hey, guess what? Those down thumbs don't really hurt. But they are metrics on the happiness of human beings in relation to watching my videos. Oh yeah. Okay. It makes me sad that I can't make everybody happy. I'm now going to go wallow in that sadness for about five seconds. And then I'm going to get back to making kick-ass videos. Because damn, I'll tell you what. We got a doozy coming up. Yeah, we do. Pretty shocked nobody's pointed out yet. But I guess, you know, whatever. All right. Professional science is strange when you're a stranger. Faces look ugly, come out in the crowds, taxpayers look wicked, oh they're unwanted, except for their money, you'll get nothing, hey. Alright y'all, thanks again for watching, God bless everyone, even Phil Plate, but do remember, he has staked his reputation on Comet Ison's nucleus being 1.2 miles. Peace out, talk to you soon, super badass video should be out later today, later.